Okay, good, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome all to our fifth, sixth grade concert tonight. My name is Dave Adam. I'm the principal here at LAS. I want to welcome all of our parents and families for being here. This is a great night. We appreciate you all braving the cold. It's not as cold as Canada on Tuesday, I guess, but it's still pretty cold out there. So thank you all for coming out tonight. Uh, this is a great event. As you all know, the winter concert is a culmination of all the hard work a lot of our students are put in towards September, October, November, the craziness of December, and finally early January we get here and we get a chance to show off all the talented students we have in our school. And as you all know, I feel very strongly about our music program. We have a very, very strong music program because of the students' hard work and, of course, your dedication and support of our school system. So we do appreciate that. Okay? So again, without further ado, Gracie, it's all yours. This first song is called The Battle of the Ancient Dragon. The history of dragons is universal throughout the cultures of the ancient world. Great battles involving dragons are revealed on objects of ancient art throughout China, Europe, the Middle East, and Latin America. Gagamesh, Faulkner, Beowulf, and other famous legends, including the mythology of Egypt, Greece, and Rome, include vivid descriptions of dragons and battle. Battle of the Ancient Dragons is a musical depiction of these conflicts, of the conflicts of these legendary, powerful creatures, and really brings them to life. We hope you enjoy this piece.
March provides a fun and musical way of practicing the one octave D major scale. The scale is played both forward and backward throughout the march and is passed through all sections of orchestra, using both arco the bow and pizzicato plucking. A foot stomp and end in brings the march to a rousing close. We hope you enjoy this uniquely entertaining piece. selection is able to be played by young orchestras. Listening for the melody to go through each section of the orchestra. We hope you enjoy our performance of French Noel. <coughs> Or were large estates for the wealthy. 
Gaelic Castle opens with a powerful sound of open fists and transports the listener back to ancient times in the life, life in a magnificent castle. Experience the festivals and celebrations that will often occur as melodies work their way through all the sections of the orchestra. This piece is both exciting and happy. Enjoy! Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed uh, the orchestra's performance for the concert. They've worked really hard. Um, thank you all for coming out. We are going to make a transition now. We had a little switch in the program. We're going to do sixth grade band and then jazz band. If you're in sixth grade band, you're going to go directly to the stage. And if you're not involved in sixth grade band, you're going to have a seat right here where the orchestra is. So bear with us for one minute. Thank you. Good evening, parents, little ones, and teachers. This original concert overture utilizes a variety of rhythms to produce interesting melodic lines. Both the opening five note motive and the, sec and the secondary theme can be heard throughout the different, se the different sections of the band. Listen for the melody to be passed around during the slow section. It changes from a fast, driving melodic line to a slow, smooth melody. We hope you enjoy our performance of Eagle Reach.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for our band so far? I said at the beginning, I'm one of the proudest principals in Mercer County because there's not many high schools that have a chorus, an orchestra, a, a, a set of students as talented as we have here on the LAS. I am very excited about the group and what they do every single year. And not only is it that they play well, but it's the selections, it's the, it's the, it's the pieces that they play, the arrangement and the intricacies of it. Not simple pieces, very challenging material that our kids are playing, they're playing excellently. So I'm really, really proud of them because of that. The show's not over. I'm just doing the intermission in the middle right now. Um, we've had a couple of transitions. We have one more transition over to our jazz band, and we'll conclude with a Fig Six um, concert band all together. But one of the reasons that we have a little challenge is that our numbers are growing. That's, a, that's the biggest problem I have right now. Our numbers are growing. That's an awesome problem to have. Because uh, our kids coming in want to be part of our music program. And that's what makes me excited about this problem. So with that being said, our challenge is we're going to transition. We've got to rearrange the stage a little bit. We've got a couple of helpers out there helping us out. As soon as we get that rearranged, we'll finish the second half of our concert. Played by Jimmy Van Heusen and Sandy Pond for the title track of, track of Frank Sinatra's 
the adorable characters from the Peanuts cartoons and movies. Written by the famous Vince Giraldi, soundtracks from the Peanuts television specials from the 1960s and 1970s can continue to delight millions of people around the world, and many of his albums remain in print today. This is a fun arrangement of the popular Linus and Lucy theme many of you have heard of over the years. We hope you enjoy this rendition of Linus and Lucy. last piece, uh, let us know. I just want to thank you all for coming. Um, I want to thank everybody in the district for all their support, um, from Dr. Edwards, the superintendent, to our administration here, all the staff, um, my co-workers, Ms. Rello and Ms. Loudon. Um, takes a lot of, lot of people to pull this off. And finally, thank you to all of you for your support. Um, and allowing your children to play these instruments. And uh, they put in a lot of work, both the band and the orchestra, and a lot of time. And I think you guys have done an amazing job, so congratulations. And who is doing Let It Snow for me? There we go. All right, here we are, Let It Snow. Or maybe not Let It Snow. Some of you are probably tired of the snow, but. You can hold it if that's easier than put it back in. Songwriter Julie Stein combined with lyricist Sammy Kahn to produce one popular hit after another beginning in 1942. Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow was among their hits while working at Metro Goldwyn Mayer, also known as MGM. The song was ranked ninth in the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers in, 25, in, in the top 25 holiday songs in the, of the century. Recorded by Frank Sinatra, Doris Day, Ella Fitzgerald, and Maureen McGovern, to name a few, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow has become a winter favorite worldwide.
No. I'm good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how about one more big round of applause for our band orchestra, everybody play tonight. Did they do a great job? Oh, before you guys go, Get out. just real quick, we want to thank all of our parents again for being here. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're not ready to leave yet. We got to do some more clapping. Thank you. So we're going to ask you one more time, big round of applause to our kids. How about these guys one more time? And as you heard, as much as our teachers are very humble, they put a lot of time and a lot of effort. This doesn't go on without their talents, their skills, their dedication to the music, to the arts. And if you notice, some of our teachers, Ms. Zarello and Ms. Mizuka, were up there actually playing in the band. So let's give all of our teachers, Ms. Kirshner, everybody, a big round of applause for tonight's event. Thank you.